and start off a clip. Let's watch this together. Let it go. It's down on the border somewhere. Arizona. Fucking Cali. I don't know. Texas. Tear gas. There's a lot of imagery on the on the web already. This is RT reporting. This pretty much sums it up what's going on. You know, so a lot of people watch that. I think it's it's important to watch the uh, watch the imagery, and then I know a lot of people are going to interpret what is going on with the uh, caravan, the uh, Honduran <laughs> refugees rushing the border of the United States. And I know that there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, opinion about this. So I'm I'm going to jump in just briefly. So what I see is I see an economic problem. I see a, another third world country like Honduras where there's no real opportunity or there's not enough opportunity to um, take care of all their people. I don't know what the hell that noise just was. And um, so, they, so, they, so they're fleeing right now. They, they made their, their way up from Honduras. You know how fucking far that is from Honduras? They had to go, they had to jump over Guatemala cut all the way through from the from the bottom of Mexico all the way up to I don't know wherever it is Arizona wherever they are at the border right it's like it's like 2000 miles right and most of them are in their t-shirts with no luggage so <laughs> it's something how, who's who's fun, who's financing these guys that's one that's one uh, issue but I but what what I want to say is what I'm and this is probably not going to be very popular, but this is the truth, and that's what that's all I'm really interested in is finding out the truth, right? So you have five thousand people storming the beaches of of Texas, right, or wherever they are, right? It doesn't matter, right? So they're they're looking for a weak spot in the United States to enter as as potential citizens, right? Now we have laws, right, and the law is. That if someone comes to the border and seeks asylum, that we grant asylum or at least grant the hearing until asylum is granted in a court. That's the law, right? If you don't like the law, change the law. But, oh, yeah, we don't have laws in the country anymore. Nobody nobody follows the law anymore, right? Tax evasion, no, no paying off politicians. We don't have laws. That's the problem, right? This is easily an easily solved problem problem right if you don't want to give people asylum then change the law right but here's the here's the deal it's an economic problem right? it always has been always will be right so i just want to throw some numbers at you just just something to think about just something to think about when you watch five thousand people in t-shirts 
seeking asylum on the border of the United States. Now everybody says, "Oh, it's going to diffuse the the uh, it's going to diffuse the American worker. It's going to it's going to put more people into the populace, and then and then make it make the job market more difficult." Huh? That's the argument. <laughs> <laughs> that's, fucking, that's great. All right. so that's your argument, right? So 5,000 immigrants, right? 5,000 people, right? Now, even if, even if the government supported them for a year, right? 5,000 people. And even if, the, even if they went on welfare, right? They can't get food stamps because food, food stamps is a federal program and they're not entitled to it. You have to be in the country five years to get food stamps. So they're not entitled to that. But they could get some form of cash assistance in housing, right? So in the worst scenario, say the government had to shell out 15 grand each for the 5,000 people, right? You're still at $75 million to help a humanitarian crisis storming up from, from Mexico, or the or beyond. Now I know people don't don't want to hear that. I understand that. So then, I already gave you the answer. Change the fucking law. Change the law, where people that seek asylum can't come to the United States anymore and seek asylum. Great. Now watch what happens when someday if the United States should crumble and you should go somewhere else and try to seek asylum, and they're gonna tell you fuck you. You you guys wouldn't let the Hondurians in, right? So, one hand washes the other. Just be careful what you wish for. Right. Or read fucking history, idiots. Right. So, so five thousand pot washers are storming the beaches of of Texas right now, and 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 uh, and <laughs> right in California, right? They're, but they're they're highly are these highly skilled workers? Are these people? Are these doctors and lawyers and and technical people and computer s software experts? No, they're fucking. They don't even speak the language, right? They're gonna come in. And they end up in the in the bowels of of restaurants. They 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 wash pots. They they do all the they they mow lawns. They rake leaves. They do all the shit that nobody else wants to do. Right? right. You feel threatened by a bunch of Honduran guys fucking raking your leaves. <laughs> all right. All right. So so at an expense of seventy five. Let me get back to that. Seventy five million dollars. Right. Uh, uh, on the taxpayer. Right. It's a lot of money. Right. Seventy five million. Right. To to to. But these are people that are not, look, they just walked from Honduras, right? They just fucking, however they got here, they're on, they're on, they're on the balls of their ass, right? Probably eating a half a meal a day, right? Do you think these are lazy people? You think they're going to sit at home and fucking collect welfare? No. They're going to go right out the door and fucking work, man. They're going to work for $5. They're going to work under the radar. It's also commonly known in New York City that if, if, Immigrants, if th this sort of immigration wasn't, uh, if if it was enforced, right? In other words, if the employment laws were enforced against immigrants like this that jump over the wall or however they get here, right? And then, then they start to work in the restaurants of New York. And most restaurants in New York, if you go into the kitchen, they speak Spanish. They don't speak English. Right? So it's it's a workforce Right, that is is desirable, right? So if you were to to uh, to enforce those employment laws that we already have, right? But they don't enforce them because they like it. You know, most of the restaurants like it. They, people like the immigration into the country because it's cheap labor, you dummies, right? But nobody wants to do that work anyway. Trust me, you don't want to wash pots in a restaurant. But here's the real deal, right? Where's the real money, right? See, this is the this is a this is what's called a throw. Right. Sorry, sorry, guys. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's you feel. Yeah, I know how you feel. Like, oh, these fuckers are taking my fucking job. These fucking anti-American motherfuckers. God damn it! Oh, fucking makes me makes me angry, right? But why why aren't you angry? Let me read some of the numbers. Did you know that Apple computer, Apple saw Apple. A A P P L. Look it up on the on the fucking stock exchange, right? Yahoo Finance. Put in A P P L, right? And look at the market capitalization of these companies. There's a trillion dollars in 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 in, in market capitalization in the banks, right? J P Morgan. Two. I think they surpassed two trillion dollars in 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 assets, right? Right. Citigroup. There's there's 15 banks with 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 trillions of dollars in assets 
right? And their CEOs are, 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 have net worths of billions of dollars, right? Billions. Now, you're, you're, worried, about, you're worried about an outlay of seven, $75 million to help a humanitarian crisis that you may not believe in, whether you believe in it or not. And that money would certainly, the, the, the work that these individuals will ultimately do for this country is is it almost balances out but what can you tell me where the 35 billion dollars that apple refused to pay in tax two years ago when they parked it off in dublin right created a little shit show created a, a another tax haven they're all over the place right that that's 35 billion dollars 35 billion dollars that they didn't pay in tax that could have hit the U.S. economy, but nobody's worried about that because they think Apple's going to go offshore. Oh, no, no, no. You can't raise their tax and you can't enforce the antitrust laws to break them up and, and such, which is something I'm, I'm becoming more familiar with, antitrust laws, yeah. But we don't have laws. That's the point, that, you, that, that even if you have the laws in place, the laws are not enforced to make them do what they're supposed to do. You understand? Because they pay off the politicians, right? But... But here's the, you want to blame the caravan. I, I don't want to take, I don't want to go too far off of the caravan because the caravan is so important, right? We got to protect our borders. I got to build a fucking wall, right? Keep them out. Keep them out because they're, they're hurting our economy. Don't you get it? They're hurting our economy. Didn't you hear what the president said? Fucking, they, 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 right? They're diluting our economy. But, but when, when 10,000 publicly traded corporations don't pay a nickel in tax and they, they take, they, they, they shop cheap labor abroad because because they can because the laws are set in a way that they can do that they can they can make money not pay tax and use a corporate use a uh, tax version right and park the money offshore right and it sits there and it's reinvested in other places you don't see the money don't you get it that it's an economic problem Right, that you're not going to solve. You can build a, a 500 fucking foot wall around the country, right? And that doesn't it doesn't stop the money from leaking out the top, right? There's one percent of the population that's controlling the wealth of of everybody else, right? And it it's done through corporations. The argument that corporations, if you tax them high, that they'll leave, is 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 not accurate and it's not real because they already have left don't you get it they already left right they don't they don't shop here to build anything it's all built in china in india in indonesia wherever it's cheap to wherever cheap labor is that's where the manufacturing industry is right so the corporate not only did this president and this administration drop the corporate tax rate from 34 to 20 it's 34 it's it's an extra 14 percent break on monies they don't pay anyway right so just just food for thought while we're watching all the the craziness down at the border right and we're watching you know we're watching our country be invaded by 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 you know spanish-speaking men in t-shirts trying to feed their family right we're at, at an expense that ultimately would budget out after a year or two anyway. 5,000 people, 330 million people in the country. It's very, very, it's, a, it's, a, it's so uh, minuscule. But I do get it. And I do believe that if you want to, if the country is, is to vote to change that law, then you change the law. But we have a law on, we have law on the, on the, laws on the books and the people that are storming the coast or the, the the wall know the law and they're within their rights to seek asylum so they're not they're not even unlaw abiding people right i mean while they're getting you know they're getting tear gassed and chucked and 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 you know beat right but if you really want to s solve the economic problems in this country stop blaming the guys jumping over the wall trying to seek a better life in your country View it as flattery. They want to. They want to be here. Right? They want to be here. Right? Is that a bad thing? Is that they want to be? They want to be American. Just I, I mean, my grandparents, the the woman who made this hat, her mother was from Italy, 
the woman who made this this blanket right she was from italy she was they they came over i don't know how they came over they came over on a fucking boat i think right my great grandfathers they came over on boats they fucking came on boats and they waited at ellis island and they waited their turn to become americans and and they had nothing to offer other than the you know my grandfather came over with a bag one bag right and, and nothing else the clothes on his back right and they became great americans these are these are this is a a great american story right it's it's not the it's not a, a it's not something to to shit on and to to be embarrassed of or to try to stop but it's something rather that you should that we should embrace cuz when i see it i see i see people desperate for freedom you know want, wanting to become part of our country and i think that's a brilliant thing i think that's beautiful i i see it as like wow these guys are they want it, they they want to come in but then but but th again the media spin is to convince you that this is a bad thing don't look at the corporate corporatizations that's stealing from you right? that they pay off the politicians this is the fucking problem in the country don't you get it <laughs> see see it for what it is right because if you're saying that you just don't like Mexicans well then i can't help you or you don't like South Americans and people that speak Spanish. Well, then they, I can't help you. But if you're saying that it's an economic problem, where they're they're diffusing the the U.S. economy, five thousand pot washers are gonna are, are gonna you know sink the American economy. Then I say you you got your head up your ass. You don't know what you're talking about, right? And you should t take a look at understand just a little bit about how the stock market works and how corporate corporations that are not people. Right, are that these entities, these things, that they don't, they, they're they're blood sucking right now. They're monopolies, right? <clears throat> and they're 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 cre they own the media that's promoting this very narrative that it's the Mexicans' fault, right? Don't look at us who steal trillions of dollars. Look at this guy over here who's trying to get a little bit of welfare for a year just to help his family so that he can become a productive citizen in our country. That's my view on it. My name is Marcus Conti reporting.